have any opportunity to go hunting for elk, which is something if you've never experienced it, you have to experience. Just hearing the bull in the woods just when he starts, starts singing. I mean, it's incredible. Western hunting, especially here in the state of Idaho, you gotta be physically fit and ready. It's grueling, but it's well worth it to get close to the animals where maybe they won't pick you up, smell you. If somebody says, you know, what is it that attracts you to elk? It's just the fact that you have to draw them into you or you have to be so quiet and so sly and so cautious to where you can get close enough to them to get a shot. You just, you just don't walk up on an elk, you just don't. working with Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation for quite a while now. Um, probably within the last three to five years, we really geared up our relationship. It's worked well for both. Last night, they were over this edge, and we had to crawl out the whole way around that front side to get in underneath them. And then when we got underneath them, we came back up at them. What I tell people, it's not just about the sale today, but it's the big picture of things, making sure that my grandchildren and my grandchildren's children have an opportunity to do something that I love to do and have loved since I was 10 years old in western Pennsylvania, and that's the opportunity to go hunting. We just spotted some elk over there. We can't tell if there's any bull in there. We were headed this way, but that's got our attention now. We heard some cows, and I thought I heard one bull. to get as ready as possible for these hunts because I know now this will be my third year or fourth year hunting in, in the western part of the United States. It's, it's grueling, but it's always well worth it. They went that way as we were coming this way. And that's what happens here. I don't think they got wind. They're still here. Just starting to head up. 
Knives has been around since 1902 in one form or another. It's a solid, solid family and they run a great company. I feel very blessed to have been working with Buck Knives now for seven years and having the opportunity to run sales and marketing for them. Well, since these elk are going, we're going to be going too. Being a family-owned company, and we still are, um, we have a real strong message when it comes to conservation is we have to preserve what we have now for future generations. If we don't, what we love and enjoy right now won't be here 15, 20, 25 years from now. It's important that we keep the partnership with the uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. It, it's a long-term relationship. I know C.J. Buck, our president and CEO, feels the same way. It's just a natural fit for Buck Nyes. This place kicks my butt every year. I keep coming back. experience this it's like something I've never seen before in my life other than television shows or movies or something like that. I would get set up to set your body or dry pods up here a while. They come feeding in around the central lot. This land is very, very rich, very fertile for elk, mule deer, white tail, you name it, it's here. You want to be here where you can see this bottom where that trail is. And you can see all that open stuff. shot but 
if we saw a big one come out, we could come back in the morning and there's a pretty good chance that they'd be up in that area because they're getting real close to bed down for the night. But unfortunately, all we've seen is three cows and one calf up there. Not seen any bulls up there with them. One thing I really like about this part of the United States, it's just so beautiful. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you get out into the wilderness like we are right now, you don't hear anything. That's the difference. Even when you get into the mountains in the eastern part of the United States, which I've done, you still you have planes flying over and different kind of noise and stuff like that. Doesn't happen too much here in, in the state of Idaho where we're at in uh, what's called Unit 13 at Boulder Creek at Joseph Ranch. We've been having trouble this morning locating the elk. So we went with Plan B, went to the ugliest, thickest spot that I knew of, and there we found the elk bedded. So I gotta get Bob pumped up here and we'll take a long walk and see if we can get him. You see that little clearing? There's elk bedded all through that. See him? Careful. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Every, every year I tell myself, this is it, I'm not doing this again. And here I am, every year. The, the depth to my left is, is horrendous. I'm thinking if somebody falls off that side of the cliff, they're dead. They're, there's no question they're dead. This is going to be interesting, but the entire time at that point, I kept thinking, if I do get blessed with a shot, I can't miss. Because either way, I still have to walk out of this place, one way or another. And 
that's when it all started to hit me, when I saw the elk really well. I don't really consider myself to be an adrenaline junkie, but I, I think maybe I am a little bit because that's part of the excitement of this whole venture. I think the reason I keep coming back to this each year is the challenge of it. I know all year round, 365 days a year, I'm thinking about this and how grueling it was and how grueling it was last year. It was even worse this year. And every year I say, I'm done, I'm too old, I can't do this no more, I'm not coming back. And then about July, August, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So it's a very enjoyable hunt. So we're watching this elk, and I swear this elk wasn't moving at all. And all of a sudden, he's getting up, he's getting up. And we really thought when he stood up, he would go up the hill to get out. He came down, so everything changed. God, my kind of shot. It's yellow bush, he's right in it. I see him, I see him. Did I hit him? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good job, Dude. buddy. He should be up there. I've never walked work for an animal as hard as we work for this one in my life. And you work twice as hard as I did. Oh, I heard him crash up above us here. He's right up in the straw. It was interesting. That whole experience was interesting. I loved every minute of it. Now, at the time, it was pure hell. Holy moly. Get up here and put your hands on him, Bob. I'm going. You got him now. Well, I'm going. What do you think Man, that, I ain't bigger than my one last year. <laughs> Very hard. But the end result is a successful hunt. My thanks to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, Boulder Creek Outfitters, and the state of Idaho, and my boy Kenny here, for making this one happen. We worked hard for this one. Now, Bob may be telling himself that, ah, oh, this is my last year, I'm not coming back, I'm fine, but after taking a bull like that, I'm sure it will keep bringing him back time and time again. Like a huge thank you to Bob and our friends at Buck Knives for being such strong supporters in conservation. You too can make a difference in the outdoors by joining the RMEF today. All you have to do is go to rmef.org for more information and learn how to become a member. Until next week, I'm Brandon Bates reminding you that hunting is conservation.